So I'm Dr. Joel Quello. I'm a professor at the University of Arizona in the Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Um, my uh, expertise is in applying engineering in agricultural and biological systems. Uh, for instance, in the growing of algae for large-scale commercial production. Uh, that is one example. I have expertise as well in space farming or advanced life support, but that's another area. Uh, spirulina is a blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. I would say it's a big deal because uh, it's one of the uh, natural source of protein that's available out there. And this is not a new discovery. Uh, spirulina has been known uh, for ages, since you know, for centuries, uh, by ancient cultures like China, uh, to be this uh, uh, source of protein. So they've been using it as as food for humans and even for animals. And the main benefit of spirulina is that it really has high protein content. Uh, 60 to 70 percent uh, is uh, quite common among spirulina strains. Uh, in addition to that, they contain some uh, substances that are considered antioxidants, which are very good in terms of protecting our cells against damages. And it contains some um, beneficial fatty acids as well, and some other useful chemicals. So in other words, it's a really good food material. Everybody. <laughs> So you and I and, uh, you know, pregnant uh, mom should be taking this. Uh, even children should be taking this. So everyone uh, should be taking spirulina. Athletes uh, should be taking spirulina. Uh, it's very good for wellness. So those who are in diets, they should be taking spirulina. But really, this is not a fad. Uh, it's a, it's a, a very good food. And so everybody should be taking spirulina. In uh, one of my previous visits to the Philippines, probably about two or three years ago, I um, was uh, reading uh, the Sunday supplement of a newspaper. I believe it's Panorama from uh, Manila Bulletin. And there was an article there about uh, the company AZ Tech and uh, culturing spirulina. And so that caught my attention because, uh, you know, I, that's my expertise. I grow algae, including spirulina, in controlled environment settings. And so I was delighted that here in the Philippines, there is such a company that is culturing algae. So I made a mental note of it. In fact, I saved that article. And I was hoping, okay, I, ho I hope that I will have a chance someday in the time uh, to be able to get in touch with the company. And fortunately now, I have contact with the company. Yeah. and have had a chance to visit the facility. Yes. So again, my expertise is in the uh, large-scale production of algae biomass for various applications. So objectively, I can say that uh, AZ Tech is doing the right thing. Uh, the uh, quality of its uh, production of spirulina biomass is very high. Uh, because they're not growing their open ponds in just open air, but this is actually being grown in a semi-controlled operation, over, you know, under a roof and under some, uh, some walls made of uh, screen. Um, and so I can say that the uh, level of cleanliness of this production facility is quite high. And uh, it's a clean operation. I, I see no contamination in there. Um, and so I can, you know, I would be happy to vouch for the quality of the product that you're producing. And I can see also the, uh, the high level of precision and regulation uh, that the company is implementing in terms of growing the spirulina, in terms of the nutrient recipe, in terms of the mixing, in terms of the harvesting. So in all these aspects, uh, it really is top-notch and high-quality operation. So it's, some, it's a, an operation that I would consider really green and sustainable and high quality. So the natural product that the company is producing really is of high value and quality.
As you know, our global population now uh, is, has increased tremendously and it's still increasing. Um, our population right now globally is about 7 billion people and by the middle of the century in 2050 it will go up to about 9.5 billion people. So we're adding 2.5 billion people <clears throat> to the planet uh, in terms of our current population. That's like adding another China and another India to our planet. And that would mean that our food production will have to uh, increase by 70% and crop production will have to double uh, to be able to meet that uh, astronomical demand. Uh, and so there is a huge pressure on our resources in terms of land, in terms of water, in terms of nutrients, in terms of energy. And most of our arable land globally are now being utilized. So there's not a lot of land that is uh, still remaining to do more agriculture. Uh, a lot of fresh water is already being consumed. And, uh, you know, nutrients, uh, particularly nitrogen and phosphorus, are quite expensive. And so we need a, a source of food that is really full of nutrients. Uh, that's easily grown and would be accessible to a lot of people. And I would say algae, particularly spirulina, is, is one such uh, food uh, material. Uh, because again, spirulina is very high in protein plus some other beneficial uh, nutrients and compounds. So my aspiration in the Philippines is that spirulina be um, uh, well recognized as this uh, very rich source of nutrients uh, that would benefit uh, the Filipino people, uh, particularly that the Philippines is a small country with a huge population that is still exploding and the resources here are pretty much limited. So there is a need for a food uh, product like spirulina to be really uh, well recognized and popularized in this country. Um, you know, this is not paid advertisement, <laughs> but I am vouching for the company AZ Tech because uh, I have inspected its production operation and I can vouch for the uh, high standards and quality uh, that it is uh, practicing and implementing in its operation. So I know that it's very safe and very green. Uh, so kudos to the company in terms of promoting uh, this new food product or nutraceutical product in the country.